Hi, I understand that you are going to have the opportunity to join your school band very soon. My name is Jack Koning and I'm one of the owners of King's Music. I have been involved with band for a long time. So I thought I would talk to you about what is band. Band can mean a lot of different things. I'm sure you've heard of rock and roll bands, like maybe even the Beatles way back in the 1960s. There have been hundreds of rock bands since then, most of them trying to bring something new, stretching their creativity in music and their looks to get attention. With one of the best-selling bands in the 70s called KISS, most pop stars that you know have a band. They're a group with a lead singer or player. When a group of people get together to have fun, make some kind of music, it doesn't matter what they're playing, they band together, whether they're playing standard instruments, like maybe this string quartet, or boom whackers. Or maybe other things, like even Starbucks cups. Most of the musicians you've seen probably started in a school band just like you. And they loved it so much they just kept being creative to form more and more different kinds of bands. Your school band is called a concert band. However, they might also have a jazz band. Or maybe even a marching band. Check out this video. Do you think this is a concert band? If you said no, well you're right. It looks like a band, has two solo players, but when you see violins and other strings, it's actually called an orchestra or a symphony orchestra. Lots of people make their living playing in a concert band or other. One of our local graduates now plays in the Canadian Forces Band, which represents Canada worldwide, like at the 75th anniversary of the D-Day invasion last year. Needless to say, I really encourage you to join the band. You'll love it. But I guess I should tell you a little bit more about it. A band is a group of people playing different instruments to create one great sound. You may start out playing in small groups now, but before you know it, you'll be playing in concert bands, jazz bands, and even marching bands. In band, there are three different instrument groupings, brass, woodwind, and percussion. The brass is comprised of the trumpet, the French horn, the trombone, the baritone, and the tuba. The woodwinds are comprised of the flute, the clarinet, and the saxophones. And finally, the percussion, which has both mallets and drums. I'm not sure when the first brass instruments appeared on the scene. Even in the Bible, the sound of trumpets are mentioned a lot. So that's centuries ago. In early days and still today, people in parts of the world buzz their lips into the small end of a shofar or ram's horn, which was used to call people to meetings or to the temples. Our present-day brass instruments use mouthpieces of different sizes to make buzzing easier. The instruments in the brass group all make sound in the same way. You buzz your lips into a mouthpiece. This is the trumpet mouthpiece and I'm just going to basically buzz my lips here and buzz right into this mouthpiece. <laughs> I want to introduce Victor. He's our repairman and he plays all the instruments of the whole band. So we want to demonstrate together that a brass instrument is really the mouthpiece, a stretch of tubing, and a bell. So Victor's going to play this homemade brass instrument, not really brass. So Victor, you want to play a tune on it? Sure, yeah. Very good. 
Thanks, Victor. Remember, there are five main brass instruments. The trumpet, the French horn, the trombone, the baritone, and the tuba. Let's listen to a group of students who've been playing their instruments for a while. They're going to demonstrate all five of these brass instruments for you. The trumpet is the highest sounding brass instrument. It's very popular and well known. It has three valves, but using your lips to make higher and lower sounds, you can play all the notes using just those three buttons. Trumpets are often used for royalty. Whenever Queen Elizabeth enters a large gathering, trumpets are used to announce her arrival. The French horn is one of my favorites, though it's a little bit more difficult to learn than the others. Listen to these three horn players from our own Vancouver Symphony Orchestra play the sound of the wolf from the musical story Peter and the Wolf. The trombone doesn't have valves like the trumpet, but to change its sounds, it uses a slide. This 11-year-old girl will demonstrate. Listen for the sliding sounds in her playing. and euphonium are almost the same but generally the euphonium is a little bit bigger and the tuba is similar but much larger and produces lower sounds check out this player who multi-layered various videos to play a tune you might recognize Each of the woodwind instruments has its own specific tone color. Do you remember the three? Woodwinds are comprised of the flute, the clarinet, and the saxophones. The flute's sound is made by blowing across a hole in the instrument. If you've ever tried blowing across a bottle top, it's kind of like that. There are different kinds of flutes, but the one you'll play has three parts, the head joint, the main joint, and the foot joint. So when you first start learning to play the flute, you're going to take just the head joint, like Victor will show you here, and you cover the open hole on the end, you put the lip plate right up to your lip, and you try and blow softly and slowly, and you make a low sound. When you blow faster and the air moves quicker, it'll be a higher sound. And if you blow really fast, there you go. So what you're trying to do is play three tones on the flute, and then you can play a three-note song. Great. Remember the horns from the Vancouver Symphony? Well, in the story, the bird is represented by the flute. The clarinet makes its sound by using a single reed on a mouthpiece. 
It's kind of like a blade of grass held between your thumbs and you can blow and get it to make a sound. So I've taken the clarinet reed and I put it on the mouthpiece and I've actually added the barrel just so the sound isn't so squawky. So really you just flatten your lip like this, point your chin, put your teeth on top of the mouthpiece. And once you can get a nice long sound, you're going to be able to play the clarinet fine. In our story of Peter and the wolf, the cat is represented by the clarinet. Saxophones are the last of the wind instruments to be invented, probably in around 1845. There are a number of common sizes used today. The alto sax and tenor sax and baritone sax are all used in the concert band. The smallest of the three is the alto sax and the baritone sax is way bigger. Saxophones also use a single reed and mouthpiece like a clarinet, but their bodies are made of brass, like the brass instruments. There's a very famous tune played on the saxophone made up of little bits of two notes. Victor will play it for you, see if you recognize it. And then there's a great tune where all the saxophones play together as a group, but you have to be in the mood to listen to it. Remember the last of the three sections? The percussion section. Again, these include mallet instruments like the bells, the xylophone, the vibraphone, the marimba, the chimes, and more. If you know how to play the piano, the bells won't be too difficult to learn because it's basically another keyboard instrument. And then, the other part of the percussion section is every kind of drum, cymbal, noisemaker, and so on. If you hit it, shake it, rattle it, scrape it, or more, it can be used in the percussion family. In our story of Peter and the Wolf, the gunshots are represented by the big drums of the percussion section. There sure are a lot of instruments, and now you're wondering, which one do I play? Well, your band teacher will be able to give you some advice on that. But now, knowing what you know about all the instruments, your question is, which one did you like? Which one inspired you? Your teacher may actually want to limit you to maybe only four of the choices, but whatever, don't worry. You can just start on one of the instruments and then if you're having problems, talk to your teacher about it and maybe they'll let you change to something else. It doesn't matter. It happens more often. So for now, just go for it. Be part of the band. Be part of the band. Be part of the band. Play some drums or guitar strums and entertain your fans.